the early 1100s, there have been medieval knights sighted on the very grounds of the location we're about to investigate. For years, there has been death, despair, suicides, and dark secret occult rituals taking place inside the building's very walls. Yet death awaits us all. Using some of the most up-to-date scientific equipment, we endeavour to gather evidence that there is life after death. These are our investigations into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Whatever you have seen, whatever you have felt, whatever you believe, there is more to this world. There is the ghost dimension. Hello and welcome. We've been invited to investigate this magnificent mansion, a gem lost in time. This is Ghost Dimension. And this is Walton Hall in Liverpool. The city is prolific for its reported ghostly encounters and this derelict former home has no shortage of its hauntings. The ghostly activity seems to be attracted mostly to females and the former owner of Walton Hall's wife has witnessed multiple paranormal sightings when they inhabited the home. I don't feel anything like that. But uh, my wife and other people yeah. seem to think that they're seeing things. But there's been a house on the site since the 12th century. This wing here dates back to 1772. And the other, the south wing over there is 1704. The Molyneux family built that wing and they came from Speak Hall. An abandoned nunnery also resides next to the building that has a strong connection to the hall. And the previous owner's wife witnessed the spirit of a monk in the building's vast basement. I used to own a club round the corner. So when I was at the club, she was here by herself, preparing the buffies for the weddings next day. And she used to put the uh, food away in the cold room downstairs. So she said quite often she'd look down the long cellar downstairs and see a monk standing at the end. Did John's wife witness the physical spirit of a monk connected to the nunnery? Or is there something more to the story? Walton Hall has been the residence of a number of notable figures, including the Earl of Sefton and Liverpool shipowner Frederick Richards Leyland. Despite being unoccupied, old photos and furniture still adorn the property, giving it a spooky air that looks like the owner's just up and left. It's been a school, a hospital, a hotel. Uh, the Americans were stationed here during the Second World War. And in the First World War, it was a hospital for the injured soldiers coming back from France. So it's quite a history. Dating back hundreds of years, and so many people passing through its doors, not all of the visitors appear to have left. During a visit from a psychic in a room used for occult practices, she said that she sensed a woman dressed all in black. We had a seance upstairs once, in that room upstairs, and um, the woman said, there's a, a woman all in black sitting in that corner over there. She's, uh, she's sitting there all in black. And uh, she, apparently she lived in that room for the last 10 years of her life and died there. 
no one knows for sure who the lady in black is or what are her intentions for haunting the location are. But it's clear that her soul is alive and hidden deep inside of Walton Hall. Bex, Walton Hall. Mm -hmm. Already this place is making me scared. We've done bits and pieces around the building today and stuff's already happening. Yeah. For me, I, I, I don't know what else is going to happen. Well, it, it's cold outside, it's dark, we've got so much equipment. We've got and so much equipment. I'm scared already. Well, like, really scared. This is the most scared I've been on a location, I think. You come into this place and you're already greeted with something. It hits you. That fireplace just went tap tap. Really? I was going to put this camera away and that, a bulb bulb. Like someone was in here tapping at the fireplace. <laughs> that was weird. Before filming began, clear ghostly footsteps can be heard on this enhanced audio coming from upstairs when the whole building was empty. Weird. The sounds of footsteps running down hallways accompanied by sounds of giggling have been heard and it's thought that it's a child or children still playing hide and seek in this enormous mansion. <laughs> a spirit has given a clear indication that we were not alone and after hearing the footsteps coming from upstairs, we wanted to investigate what exactly was causing them and to ensure no intruder had entered the building. While this activity is happening, we've got to get up there. It's scary. The door's going behind Jane. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. I don't want to move. You don't want to move? I don't want to move. Can I turn around? I'm scared of seeing something. But what are you saying? That's the thing in this place. If you turn round, you're scared of seeing something. Yeah. And that is the key. And it's getting it That's what it's making you feel like inside, terrified. This is, is, is okay because the lights are on. As soon as you go through these doors, it's black. And it's terrifying. Well, it's, it's more intense as you go upstairs. Moans upstairs. Let's go. Constantly. Come on, let's do it. <sighs> Which way is it? This way. That way. That's like a labyrinth in here. You ready? Back up. Oh, it's that feeling when you're walking. It's that intense feeling of all eyes on you. This is where we were just hearing and seeing stuff down yeah. here. We've got a camera here, so we're going to come past this camera. There's a couple of REM pods as well as you go along the corridor. But this is where I heard the footsteps and this is where I did my VT before about the footsteps. I know we came here and we, we started here just a, a second ago. Big ball of light. You saw a big ball of on light? On that wall. Go on. Big ball of light. Mm. Camera's just gone off. Your yeah. camera's just gone off. No, it's on now. It's just gone off on its own, just off. Like off the screen off? Yeah. You're back on. Is it recording? It's still on record. Yeah. That's weird. This is happening all night yet. Yeah. The battery's draining from left, right, and centre. That's what it is. They're taking the, the energy to perhaps manifest to us. Continuously, since our arrival, the camera crew had been experiencing a constant drain on all of our power resources. We do not believe this is a coincidence causing the disruption to our filming. It's like the spirits are working against us at the minute, oh, stopping me getting what I need to film. That's just gone from, Sorry. from three bars to nothing. If this entity continues to drain our battery resources, 
it may just be able to manifest into a physical form onto our cameras. Let's go up because there was stuff that went upstairs, okay. you know, that happened upstairs. Paul, you, you've put protection around us all, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, can I just take one minute right now to do it myself? Okay, one minute. Can I just say I'm wearing crystals if anyone wants any? Really? Can I have you a crystal? Can I have one? Yeah. Can I have one? Just... Help yourself. What, that? Either. They'll do the same. Cheers. Okay, I, I just don't feel safe. I feel like... Do you hear it? Jesus. Did anybody hear that? Mm. Did you hear that? The growl. As our cameraman Andrew handed Bex a crystal to help protect her away from negative energy, it had an instant impact with a nearby entity who appears to growl as she secures the crystal to her wrist. Cheers. Okay, I, I just don't feel safe. I feel like. Do you hear it? Jesus. Did anybody hear that? Mm. Did you hear that? The growl. With this entity now agitated that Bex had attempted to protect herself, would it be able to draw even closer to a manifestation? as the night continues. Okay, I, I just don't feel safe. I feel like... Do you hear it? Jesus. Did anybody hear that? Mm. Did you hear that? The growl. Ghost dimension. Shadows have been seen moving through rooms and the sound of something dragging has been heard. But what possibly could be getting dragged? A body perhaps? Does the hall hold a dark secret yet to be discovered. This is, it's here, there's something here. I think it's something to do with the Masonic rituals that went on upstairs. So there is a theory regarding what we hear as growls and people perceive it as being something nasty. Mm. But if you think about something that hasn't spoken for a long time, won't well, exactly have a voice. Yeah, so it's true. trying to gather that energy yeah. to and it's so, something she's all about battery power. Should we head up? Yeah. And if anything happens on this camera down here, we've got it covered because yeah. it's locked off. Yeah. yeah, okay. And this is where we've seen stuff. Okay. You know, that sounded like something was being dragged. Oh, yeah, the, it's the atmosphere is changing up here. Do you don't want to go up? What? There's just something right there. Well, masonry. I don't like it. This is Freemasonry. Something, something this will be. This is good though because this Freemasonry, they don't really take women in, did they? No. Yeah. So this would have been. Me and you don't want to go male, up. A male area, and the two ladies, Jane and Bex, are feeling this. Right. Okay. In my stomach, feels like a washing machine. I've got a knot in my head. I don't want to go yeah. This so is where the growls are right from. Right, let's do it. Can you? Can we brave this one out? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but if I feel too bad, I'm coming down. Yeah. I'm coming down. If I don't feel right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not staying. <clears throat> Really, as Sean said, you know, it was a very male orientated yeah. society for a long time. It's only yeah. been the last twenty years, I think, that they've actually welcomed women in. Yeah. So. Not sure how old this lodge is, or when it closed, it may mm. still have been a male order. In which case, yeah, you're not going to be welcome. Oh gosh. Let's let's see <clears throat> if we can. I don't know what it is we are following tonight. Do you guys feel it? Do you? What do you guys, for the men, feel? <clears throat> I feel more comfortable up here. Really? No. Yeah, I, I've um, while I've been out setting the equipment, I feel like I'm being watched. I've had that feeling of just sort of being surrounded by. Yeah, surrounded. I feel like I'm being watched, but I don't feel like I'm in danger. No, no. I think a lot of it's curiosity at the moment, but I think something's reaching out to us. I think something's trying to say something, which is why we're hearing the growls. I don't think it's anything sinister. I think it's not sinister in regards to dark and demon. No. Stop. Yeah. Stop. I think something's going to happen to Did me. you hear that? Bang, bang. That was a big bleeding bang somewhere. Yeah. I think someone's really... Did you hear a growl? Where was that bang from, Paul? I Down. heard that. I don't know. 
I said we were talking. I heard that. That was up here. Come on. We've got a tall shop on. We used to have the Freemasons meet here as yeah. well, and they all met on the top floor, you know. Yeah. Was there secret meetings up on the top floor? Yeah, yeah. Did you ever get invited into the meetings? Oh, well, I, I yeah, I'm in, I'm in it, yeah. You was, I I was, was a Freemason. I am in it, yeah. Wow. Okay. Earlier, John explained he was in the Freemasons and that they held their secret meetings on the floor we were about to investigate. This is the very same room which has been subject to a paranormal seance. Has something been summoned by the seance that could be causing the activity we are encountering? Right, we're going right into where these Freemasons did their practices. And that's here, and you can see there's the peephole on the door from when they were checking who was coming because it was that secret that what they did. I'm gonna knock on the door before we even go in and see if it reacts. So. Enter. See if it knocks back. I've just heard the squeak, squeak in there. I heard the squeak. You heard the squeak. I heard the squeak in there. I heard the squeak. Jeez. Oh, God, blast of air. This is one of the rooms. Oh, God. Are we stuck into your domain now? Let's go, we're going to go down there, just we have to check that for safety as well. Where? Where? The spirit we are following appears to be distracting us from entering the Masonic rooms and starting to bang on the ground floor, so we sent Paul down to check the area was clear, while we defy the spirit and head back into the secret meeting rooms. Have we stepped into your domain? Are we not Mason? Did that door just shut behind you? Oh my god. Was it? Was it? There's somebody behind there. Paul, just have a look if somebody's behind there, Sean. Paul? There's no one there. I told you we shouldn't have come in. No, we shouldn't have come in. Are you angry that there's women in here? And it was an old man, men? If you do not want us here, and you've been trying to push us out of this building, come and show yourself to us in here. If this is somebody, this will be an old timer. It's Paul. It's Paul. That's not Paul. It's Paul downstairs. That's in the other room. It's not Paul. That seriously is not Paul. Hello? Come on. Come here. I was just about to say, I was just about to say, what's this here? What does that mean to? And then that's where that noise is just come from. Up in the attic? Yeah. And it's so dangerous up there. The roof's yeah, caving. Can you do that again? We want to hear you or can you? 
touch one of us. I found the door that slammed. It's that one on the stairs again. You know when it yes. shuts, it goes bump, bump, yeah. bump. It's that door. No. Nobody, nobody no, there. I'm, I'm now torn here. I'm thinking, do we go there or do we go to this other room down here first? What the hell are we going to do? I personally think it's like distraction. Yeah. From you know. what? Well, we've tried to, try to get in here, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. My back is on fire. Anybody's mm. lower back will really, really hurt. My whole back all the time. I just I don't like this room. You don't like it at all. You don't like it, Jane? There's just something about it that says, get out. Ghost Dimension. Whoever the spirit was in the Masonic rooms pushed its unwelcome feelings onto Bex and Jane, then started to make further noises in the west wing of the hall, which we followed in an attempt to make contact. Something's moving around the building. As we're in one room, it shifts into the next. Yeah. Just feel like the trap separates us. Do not. Or at least us. Yeah. No one leave this group. Stay together. Who are you? Torch. The torch. The torch torch. Oh. It's just come on. The torch has been set up earlier in such a way that a spirit can manipulate its light off and on to communicate directly with us in response to our questioning. Turn that torch off. This tried and tested method has proven to be successful among paranormal investigators worldwide and is used as a form of communication directly to the spirit world. Oh! Whoa, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go well, on, turn it off, thank you. Wow. Are you a man? Are you a Freemason? Oh, 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 yeah. oh okay. You're going to affect that torch, are you, if we lock it up? You're going to do something for us, turn it off to tell us you are. Come on. Turn it off. Off, all the way off. Off. <laughs> Turn it off. Step away from it if you're a Freemason. <laughs> it was now clear that this was the entity attempting to remove us from the Masonic rooms, who was indeed a Freemason and did not want us anywhere near its secret meeting rooms. This spirit's energy is ever increasing in strength after previously draining all of our batteries. The Masonic spirit gave no further responses to our questions, perhaps wanting to remain in its secretive state. We head back downstairs to investigate claims of a ghostly white lady that only appears at night and on the main stairs in the hall. If we investigate the stairs to start with, yeah. where the lady has fallen and she lost her baby, you know, and there's reports that she comes back. Yeah. And, you know, these reports are of children as well, isn't they? Yeah. I think we should go there before we set off any of the other rooms with any of the equipment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, I think for that, uh, even though the stairs are concrete, we'll try a geophone on there. Um, we'll put a shadow detector as well because yeah. if she's been seen coming down those stairs then she's maybe break the she'll break the, the shadow detector beam. How about the rover? How are we going to incorporate the rover tonight? Uh, I think when it comes down to the rover, the, the two main reception rooms, uh, I'd like to set that room up with yeah. rims and cameras because uh, we've brought more cameras tonight and we'll use the rover from here mm -hmm. because... Um, um, this is the rover, mm -hmm. uh, the way it works, we've got two night vision cameras on there, there's also a, a microphone in there so we can hear what's going on in that room, right. but what is even better, from here we can ask questions, because Brilliant. the app will allow me to talk or whoever, and it will come out of the, the speaker that's on here. Well just while we're in here now talking about what we're going to do for the plan for the night, mm -hmm. um, there's something behind that door. Behind that door? There really is, yeah. 
knocking, that banging, here. creaking. Oh, all right. There is something behind there, so I think <coughs> we should just go yeah. and get on. Get on with it and then get check the equipment out the different areas. and yeah. go yeah, because yeah. we're wasting time. Absolutely. Come on. So let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay. Let's go. With our plan now ready to see if the ghostly lady would appear on the stairs and send the rover off into the main reception rooms, we were ready for our next encounter from the ghost dimension at Wilton Hall. We're here in the stairs where the lady fell down and unfortunately a baby was born, stillborn, so we're going to call out for the lady right now. Is, are you here? The lady whose baby died, are you here? Are you wandering this hall that the people have seen you and witnessed you? Hello? Did you hear it? I heard it before, I didn't I? Do it just now. Oh, I heard it before. Is that you? Are we communicating with you? Come down and meet us. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Did anybody in the crew hear that? It's a breathing monitor, like a breathing yeah. I heard that. Yeah. Like a throaty one. Right, I know it's cold. But has anybody's legs like gone really, really, really cold? Because my legs are just like a bubble of cold around me. Well, maybe she's physically coming towards you because you're. Did you hear that over there? Or what, it? what did you hear? Round there. What's round there? Let's go and have a look. <gasps> it's not it. No way. What? No. Did nobody hear no, that? No. What? Did you, did you hear that, Paul? That was that was a growl, like a. Yeah. During this part of the investigation, we caught the following EVP that sounds like a female's breath. Were we in the presence of the lady in white who had also lost her baby? Round there, what's round there? Let's go and have a look. What's this? What's this? No way. What? Did nobody hear that? No, what? If the lady in white exists in spirit form, we may have just caught her ghostly breath on camera. But would she be able to manifest even more? Okay, let's just. I think. I think Bex, you should stand on the stairs. Because when you stood. Why was that? Why was it me? There was a flash on the stairs. Was he a flash? Well, that's interesting because earlier. Flash on the stairs. I've just seen a white shadow. I saw that. I saw that. Is that you? This lady's been seen as well as a white shadow. Well, I'm going to stand on the stairs because I don't feel. I'm going to go up the stairs. It's got a lot colder. Hasn't it? Oh, that's you. See the flash? See the flash there by your foot? I saw, but I don't know what that was. That was, I don't know. Well, but it was like it, it was a kind of light. Okay, you here with us now? Tell us who you are and come and meet us. Are you still sad about losing your baby? Or is this something more dark because we heard the growl? Did you die an old lady and then come back to this place in search for your unborn child? Are you heartbroken? You're looking for an end? Oh. I can hear chanting. Which is Do you know what I could hear that a few seconds ago and I didn't say Did you nothing? Hear that? Chanting? A few seconds ago I could hear that it. That way? I thought it was upstairs. Yeah, up, upstairs that way. Well, I'm up the stairs. Oh! Oh my 
my God. Shh. What? What the f- Is anything on my head? There. No. Something fell on me. Something fell? I'm not sure. Well, I can tell you now, there's nothing... I've just had a little... <gasps> a little Somebody... old go up the stairs. Seriously? Somebody went... Yeah. Shh. Are you going... Are you... I don't think this is the lady. I yet. don't think it's the lady. I, I think, think this is the lady. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we felt weird before, I think... And another one. Another one? Yeah. And I felt my back go icy cold then. And another one. Yeah? And it's, it's, it's dithering. It's just dithered in front. Hovering around. Really? Yeah. And it, 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 just as you said, you felt cold, it came out of you. Oh, That's weird. Are you not the lady? Who are you? Are you watching what we're doing? Hearing the clear, audible breath and the glowing lights moving around the stairs and with Sean feeling this was another spirit, perhaps the Masonic spirit did not like our presence. We took the rover out to investigate covertly and finally capture these elusive spirits. Is that speaking in there? So the rover, we're speaking to the rover now. Whoa, what the hell? Can you see this device on the floor? Come towards it and speak to me. Speak to Bex or speak to Paul. Harry? But did you hear the knocking? Yeah. There's somebody in there called Harry? The heck was that? Good as a child. As a child. Harry! The results from the rover were limited, and with the investigation of the basement pulling, we enter the bowels of Walton Hall in search of the ghostly monk, which John had claimed his wife had witnessed. Quite often, she'd look down the long cellar downstairs and see a monk monk standing at the end. end. But would we encounter the monk or would the Masonic spirit claim its next victim? Apparently, um, John, who's the caretaker for this place, his wife um, used to see a monk in the end because they used to live here. In the end, they used to, well, she used to say hi to it. So. And it was down here. Oh! Really? See the lights there? Go! Oh. Whoa! What happened? Here! went off okay. and now it's gone. Okay. That's coming off. So there's something around. Ra- something around. Me. Just going to put the EDI meter on the side here. Oh, somebody's okay. touching my hair. No, what's going on with this? Time? Hello? I can't believe how warm it is down here. It's different, isn't it? The rest of the house. Is anybody down here? Is there a monk down here? Are you connected in some way to the... Nuns? This doesn't feel too good. There's a very sweet smell. There is a sweet smell. Yeah, there is. That. You can smell sweet, sweet smells. Yeah, very sweet. It's almost like... Sweet disinfectant type, you know the... Something you use like on a baby, like a baby's lotion. Yeah, yeah I yeah. smelt baby poo before, as well. It smells like a baby's lotion. But that would make sense because yeah, there was like... children here. Why was that a flash then, babe? Where? Why was that flash in there, like big... Whoa, 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 the EDI! That's the EMF meter going off on it. Whoa, whoa, look at this and that as well. You know K2. When you're talking about children, that's... There's children. Yeah. That's freaking, you know what, let me just switch the light on it. There's nothing alive here. And he's climbing. Let's just come so, out of it. Oh, it's there. What? It's there. 
Whoa, I don't know what it what is. Does it say? The, the time, time is now. now. That's a mason. Time the time is, time is now. All men and women. Time is a rare commodity. All men and women love it. And most of us are here to stay. Let me just flick this off in infrared so, so we can read it. Two little time to do the, the things we'd really like to do. And to make some new beginnings and to really follow that through. But some, some of us, us are, fortunate are fortunate because, because our, our lives allow us. A special time just for, our, uh, just for ourselves. For Again, you, the time, the time is, is now. now. And look right. what, okay. that's me. The time is mad. now. I know that's, um, that's, a lot of Freemasons say that, um, and, and another cult say that, um, the time is now. And that's how you know when it's connected to the Masons. Yeah, because they'll use that. It happens a lot on TV as well. well maybe the lady, uh, the wife of, the, of John, wasn't seeing. No. A, a, a monk, maybe. Oh. We're right, we're touching on something. We're touching on it. Did she see a Mason? Are you a Masoness down here? Can you give us an audible noise? as well as making these meters flash. Look at that. We now had confirmation that the spirit we had been encountering throughout the investigation was proclaiming to be Masonic. Perhaps this is the same spirit that the eyewitnesses have been seeing around the location manifesting as something different each time. I think we should just go in deeper through the tunnel. I think we should. I think we're unlocking something here. Let's go for it. Just go for it. Squat it's all over the floor. Oh my god. This is a bit dangerous to go here. Very. So we, we could just get glass all over our feet and go straight for our shoes. Yes. And look, now we're not communicating with it. <gasps> Stopped. Are you still here? Dead. Dead. He's moved on. Let's go in. Mm -hmm. You take that with you? Yeah. This is where she saw the monk. This is where she used to see the monk in here, at the end over there. And she'd come <coughs> down and she'd put things away. And she used to see him. And she used to, at first she was frightened, and then after a time of seeing him over and over, she then got used to it and she used to say hi. Um, so I yeah, don't think. Oh. Seriously, whoa, okay. 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 Uh, was that your That's hand? not me. It's not me, honestly. Is that you? Are you the person down here, the mason or the monk? Is that you? Can Whoa, you? Whoa, he's a light just over Bex's head then. When I said that then? Oh, the, 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 the um, gadget in Bex's hand is okay, too. crazy. Yeah, it's not stopped since we walked in. Yeah. And now this is interesting because the... To the monk the or the mason, can we have a name? Can you feed one of us uh, your name, please? Anybody coming up with any names? No, Paul. Joe. Paul and Joe. Paul, Joe, do you answer to one of these names? Yeah, it's gone off. Paul, Joe. It's Paul. So your name's Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Are you a Freemason? Yeah. Should we go for it? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Whoa! Jane! Jane! No, Jane! 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 Jane!
That's going wacky. Who the hell said that? Just, I, as I, just as I flick that off? Yeah. You seen something? Yeah. Yeah. What did you see? I can feel someone behind me. Do you each turn, you, you know what he looked thing. like? He turned into, his facial features turned into he a female. Didn't. He didn't. He did. Me? Said, yeah. Like there was a female there. Uh, Near him? Yeah. He, 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 I thought he was a woman. Oh, God, no. A lot I've of people been, say that. <laughs> I have been doing that all night. With Seeing my, faces. Beside me, yeah. Ghost dimension. Behind us. Did you hear that? I was about to say there's someone behind me. Did you me. hear that? Yeah, I yeah. can feel something. Yeah, I heard yeah. exactly something behind you. It's, this is the corner. This is where they Don't trap you. Guys. Yeah. Oh. This is this is like the the trapping area. Another one. There's like smoke almost coming across the screen. Every time you speak, this goes off. Right, let's, let's see if we can... Oh! Did you see it? What Did face? you see it? A face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Down there, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my Jane? God, no. Oh. That was, and the eyes were like... African features? Yeah, yeah. I, I think we should get out of here before really this gets too dangerous. I really know what, I think dangerous. we should get that meter and turn it's off the no, Yeah, this is, um, this is getting dangerous mm. now. We need to get out to the safety. Jane? Hmm? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, let's get out. Let's get Jane right, out. Come on. Go. It's too dangerous to continue in it. Dangerous warming into stuff, isn't it? Not just because of spirits. Jane? We need to we need to come out. Okay, we need to get out here, it's too dangerous. Alright, okay. Come on, let's go. Are you okay? I feel like I'm gonna go down at any minute. Let's Don't get come off, Jane. Let's get Pass me the top. It's draining Jane's energy. Yeah, yeah, it is. Right, get hold of Jane. Let's go. Hold Jane. Can't get her. Let's go, Jane. Come on. It would appear that the spirit had now started to tap into Jane's physical energy and she was weakening. So we removed her from the basement and ended the investigation to retreat to the safety of the crew caravan. Ghost dimension. Whatever is haunting Walton Hall appears to be protective and was provoked by the presence of our females. Whoever or whatever this spirit claims to be, we will return.